up, everybody? My name is Paul Davis Griffin, and uh, you guys look good today. You should do something with your hair, something with your face, or use a little new moisturizer, and something's different. Keep doing it. Today's topic comes to you from Cooley Clo, who asks me to talk about Australian marsupials. That's very specific and yet very vague. You got it, Cooley Clo, which, by the way, is one of the coolest YouTube names I've ever heard. Assuming you're saying that you are the Coolio of Chloe's and not just that you're Cooley Claw, which, if that's the case, it's it's okay. I've heard better, you know, you could have been more creative, let's just move past it. I researched a bunch of random shit about Australian marsupials, and now we're gonna talk about it. Now some of you may be asking, what exactly is an Australian marsupial? Now, an Australian marsupial, okay, is anything that lives in Australia, alright, that also keeps their babies in their tummies. Now they don't eat their babies, you understand? They just have little pouches that they keep them in. Kind of like those new moms who still want to go on workouts, but instead of buying a plastic carrier, it's just evolved into your body. For the mom on the go! Now there's a little bit more that goes into identifying a marsupial, but those are two very specific rules. I don't think anyone's gonna get confused here. You see, marsupials evolved with a very small placenta, which does not allow for very long pregnancies. This leads to early births and underdeveloped babies who need to stay close to their mother for protection from the elements. Baby marsupials are blind, hairless, about the size of a jelly bean, and taste absolutely nothing like jelly beans. Then once the baby reaches adolescence, they leave their mother's tummy and become their own independent marsupial. But sometimes they don't get the memo right away and they overstay their welcome. Ain't nobody gonna love you and support you like your mama until she literally can't support you anymore. I personally like to imagine that this is not nature and this is just marsupials stealing other smaller marsupials. And once you get that image in your head, it does look a little bit suspicious. We are koalas, not life forms from Proxima B. We eat leaves, nothing more. Move about your business, humans. <laughs> Like anyway, Australia has about 120 different species of marsupials, including kangaroos, koalas, wombats, wallabies, and quolts. The largest of which being kangaroos, who apparently have one of the most miraculous pregnancies in the animal kingdom. Not only can female kangaroos determine the sex of their child before it's born, but they can literally put their pregnancy on hold mid-embryo and wait for environmental conditions to improve. So if there's a drought or a lack of food, they can literally be like, okay baby, Stop developing and working magic. Let's see how this shit plays out. There's an urban legend that kangaroos got their name after explorers asked native Australians what the marsupials were called. The natives responded with kangaroo, which means I don't know. However, this is just an urban legend, and the name can actually be traced back to the native's word for kangaroo, which is kangaroo. Also on the list of Australian marsupials are wallabies, who apparently have one of the biggest drug habits in the animal kingdom, feasting on the fields of Tasmania, which currently produces about 50% of the world's opium. These wallabies will ingest the plant before spending the rest of the day in a daze on the couch eating Cheetos and watching old episodes of Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco, also a stoned wallaby, as proved by the fever dream visuals of 90s cartoons. Seriously, wallabies have been linked to crop circles in Australia because they'll get really high and then just wander around in one spot. If you're like me and you're realizing that you don't actually know as much about marsupials as you thought you did, you might be wondering what these things sound like. And I was pretty curious myself, so let's find out right now. Okay, so koalas, they sound like alligators if an alligator had sleep apnea. <laughs> Whoa! Oh shit! Whoa, stop! Whoa, stop! <laughs> okay, okay, let's move on. Okay, new decision, marsupials are freaking terrifying. This is a wombat, and it is an absolutely ridiculous creature. As avid diggers, these things' main line of defense is to jump headfirst into its hole and then cover the entrance with this big fat cartilage butt. Also, the pouches that they keep their babies in are upside down, so the mother's butt is constantly in the baby's face. Not an easy lifestyle, I'm sure. This lets the mother dig without getting any dirt in her pouch and suffocating her babies, which I guess is important. We're finding a lot of butt facts about wombats. Good for you, wombats. And their poop is square. What's up with that? They've got special butt muscles that do it. This way the pieces don't roll away when they're marking their territory, which I guess is important. Apparently, despite appearances, marsupials aren't soft and squishy either. They, they're actually kind of firm and muscular, like a, like a good butt. I gotta get off the butt thing. Koalas are adorable and terrifying. It's an interesting combination. What, what do you need an example? Watch this video I found. See, th this thing looks too much like a human baby for me, and, and it's just kind of crossing some sort of weird uncanny valley line. And to anyone who still thinks that they're adorable, let's see what you think after a nice summer shower. See, these things are clearly demons from hell, trying to destroy Earth, and I gotta say something about it! Which I just did, so 
my work here is done, I guess. Koalas are also apparently the idiots of the animal kingdom in Australia because they have incredibly low brain size and they insist on eating low nutrient leaves. I'm really not making this up. I've read on multiple sources now that koalas are stupid as shit. And I think that's where I'm gonna cut myself off today, guys. At this point, I'm just kind of being mean to koalas. I'm sorry, koalas. No offense, koalas. After this video, I realized that I think that all marsupials are kind of weird. They, they all kind of look like super realistic Jim Henson puppets. If you like this video and you have a topic you want to hear me rant about aimlessly, you can just let me know in the comment section, or you can let me know on my Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram account. Those links are in the description. Also, real quick, shout out to this comment. When I was little, I actually thought that life was a giant book and that someone was writing it or reading it. Was that weird? It's a little bit weird, but it's also freaking beautiful. You should do some writing of your own. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you're craving more content, then you can always check out my Minecraft channel or my Punk Rock channel. Those links are in the description, and, uh, that's it. This is the end of the video. <laughs> what do you, you think I gotta come up with an outro every single time I want to end a vi video? I, I only got so many ideas, and I got sh I got shit to do, you know? You guys, are, you guys are overbearing, if you know what I mean. It's, it's, um, it's inappropriate. Bye, guys. Australia has about 120 different species of marsupials, including kangaroos, koalas, marsup marsupials. Marsupials are marsupials. Marsupials!